Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into a fascinating concept in the AI development, reflection in line graph. If you have ever wondered how to make your AI agent more smart and adaptable, you are in for a treat. So stay tuned to learn how to supercharge your AI agent with the power of self-reflection. Let's get started. In our journey through AI and large language model, we have explored various techniques to enhance AI capabilities. Today, we are taking it a step further with reflection. This concept is a game changer in creating more intelligent and adaptive AI agents. Whether you are a seasoned developer or just starting out, understanding reflection will open up new possibilities in your AI projects. Now, let's get started with the definition of reflection. So what exactly is reflection in the context of AI and large language models? Imagine if an AI could look back at its action, evaluate its performance and learn from it. That's exactly what reflection does. As you can see in this diagram, reflection follows a cyclic process. First, it starts with a user request which goes to the generate step. The generate step produces an initial response. This response is then passed to the reflect step, where the AI analyzes its own output. The reflect step produces reflections, which include critiques, merits, and recommendations. Finally, these reflections feed back into the generate step to improve the response. This process can repeat n times, allowing the AI to continuously refine its output until it reaches a satisfactory response for the user. This process is similar to how we as a human learn from our experiences. It's like the AI is developing a form of metacognition, thinking about its own thinking. Finally, it's important to note that while reflection can significantly improve the AI's performance, it does take time. This makes it suitable for tasks where quality is more important than speed, like problem solving or creative tasks. Alright, now let's see reflection in action. We are going to build an AI agent that generates tweets and improves them. This example demonstrates how reflection can enhance the quality of AI-generated content. We will use LangGraph, LangChain, and OpenAI language model to create an AI agent that not only generates tweets, but also critiques and improves them. Ready? Let's jump in. Let's start by setting up our development environment. First, we need to install several essential libraries. Here's what each library does. OpenAI provides access to OpenAI's API and models. Langchain is a core framework for building AI applications. And Langchain-OpenAI specific integration for OpenAI within Langchain. Then we have Langchain Community which is for additional community-created tools and utilities. And LangGraph Graph is a framework for creating a structured AI workflow. The dash dash upgrade flag ensures we have the latest version, and dash Q keeps the output quiet and clean. Next, we set up our environment variable. This code imports the required modules for environment handling. It uses find underscore.env to locate our .env file. Then it uses load underscore.env to load our environment variable. The override two parameter ensures our variable are updated if they already exist. Now let's start with the part where we are going to generate a tweet. For our reflection implementation, we need specific components from Langchain. Let's break down these components. AI message for handling AI generated response. Base message is a base class for all message types. A human message for handling user inputs. 
chat prompt template for creating structured prompts. Messages placeholder for dynamic message insertion in our prompts. And finally, chat OpenAI, which is the interface to OpenAI chat models. Let's run the code cell. Now let's create our generation prompt. This is crucial as it defines how our AI will generate the content. This prompt is structured in several key parts. First, the role definition establishes the AI roles as social media expert. Then, goals section lists a specific objective for tweet creation. After that, feedback handling instruction for incorporating improvement. And finally, we have the final reminder core principle for effective tweets. The message placeholder allows us to dynamically insert messages during the conversation. Let's run the code cell. Now let's set up our language model with specific parameter. Let's break down this as well. We use chat OpenAI with the GPT-40 mini model. Temperature is set to 0.7, balancing between creativity and consistency. Then we create our chain connecting our prompt to the language model. This chain will handle the complete generation process. Now let's implement our tweet generation process. Here we initialize an empty string to store our tweet. Then we create a human message with our specific request. Generate a tweet about reflection in AI, how large language models can evaluate and improve their own responses, making it exciting and educational for tech and developers. We use a stream for real-time generation and accumulate the response chunks into our tweet variable. The streaming approach gives us better control and visibility of the generation process. Let's run the code cell now. And we get an exciting tweet about the reflection in AI. Alright, let's move now to the reflection component. First, we have to define the reflection prompt as well. This reflection prompt is structured to analyze content across multiple dimensions. Engagement potential analysis, content structure evaluation, technical elements assessment, brand alignment, check each section has specific criteria for details analysis. Let's run the code cell now. Now let's create and implement our reflection chain. This process creates a reflection chain similar to our generation chain. It takes both the original request and generated the tweet as input. It streams the reflection analysis and accumulates the reflection feedback for use in improvement. Let's run the code cell. And we get the analysis of the tweet. Let's analyze the feedback our reflection system provided on our generated tweet. The system evaluated four key areas. First, for engagement potential. The system identified post trends and areas for improvement. While the Did You Know opener works, it suggested using more provocative questions to increase engagement. It especially liked the call to action but recommend making it more specific to drive better responses. For content structure, the analysis focused on clarity and effective use of element. While the tweet was clear, it could be more concise. Interestingly, it suggests reducing the number of hashtags to just two to three for better engagement and recommend more strategic use of emojis. Looking at technical element, the system noticed that our tweet was a bit long at 225 character. It recommended trimming it down to 120 to 140 character for better retweet potential and readability. This is a crucial technical insight for optimizing social media impact. Regarding brand alignment, the reflection confirms that our enthusiastic educational tone hits the mark for our tech audience, but suggesting adding more technical details to better encourage developer. The reflection then provided a revised version of the tweet, significantly improved and optimized. And finally, let's use the reflection to generate and improve version. This setup takes the original request, includes the first generated tweet, incorporates the reflection feedback, and generate and improve version based on all these contexts. 
This completes our reflection cycle, demonstrating how AI can analyze, critique, and improve its own outputs in a structured way. And there you have it. We have just scratched the surface of what's possible with reflection and line graph. This concept opened up a whole new world of possibilities for creating more intelligent and adaptive AI agent. Remember, the key to effective reflection is to provide rich context and feedback. In a real-world application, you might want to consider to connect to external data source or user feedback for even better result. Now here's something exciting to look forward to. In our next tutorial, we are taking this concept even further. We will build an AI agent using line graphs that will do exactly what we discussed today, but with a twist. We will build a complete line graph graph to implement the reflection process. This will give you a complete demonstration of how to structure a complex AI agent using line graph. I hope this tutorial has inspired you to explore reflection on your own AI projects. Don't forget to check the Jupyter Notebook in the description for the full code. If you have any question or you want to share your reflection experiment, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.